Hi everyone. I hope you are all staying well and staying healthy. I don't want to dwell too much on what is going on globally right now. I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, are quite aware. And I just wanted to make a video discussing some things we can do to make ourselves feel better during these difficult times and some alternatives for calming our anxiety and our nerves that do not necessarily have to do with stress shopping or panic shopping or bin shopping or even some emergency shopping that people have been resorting to just to make themselves feel better that might be affecting others. I'm going to try to film some other videos later today. I am actually in the midst of regrouping my entire school to a virtual online lesson system. So I will be teaching in about a half an hour for the next five or six hours. Um, but I might pop on later tonight and do a video I originally planned to film today, which was how to avoid temptation during Ulta's 21 day sale. And initially I was going to combine those two videos. I was going to talk about the Ulta sale and of course connect it to what is happening right now and just some other ways that we can be occupying our time. But I, I feel like the Ulta video will be a lot longer um, because I actually did want to go through some of the products and talk myself and maybe you guys out of them but I don't have time for that right now. As I said, I'm, I'm about to start teaching pretty soon. So I just wanted instead to come on and try to be a little bit of a voice of reason for all of us, myself included. Those of you who are watching me for the first time might not know, but I am doing a no buy for the year of 2020. And in the past, I have definitely used shopping as a vehicle to relieve uh, stress or anxiety or distraction or avoidance. So normally this would really be a dangerous time for me to potentially spiral into a rabbit hole of buying all sorts of pretty things that are going to distract me from what is going on in the world and make me temporarily feel better. So I figured that I'm sure I must not be the only one and maybe some of the things that I am putting on my list of potentially trying to occupy some of my free time with. Uh, might also help you. So hopefully we can get through this together. I would love to hear what are you doing right now as you're staying home and hunkering down. I would love for all of us to support one another and give us suggestions and ideas. Yeah, so without further ado, if you're interested in hearing some of the things that I've put down on my list and some of the distractions that I plan in participating in that do not have to do with shopping, during this quite challenging time for all of us and please keep on watching. So uh, this is going to be in kind of random order because I was just jotting some quick thoughts this morning um, and of course I have it under emergency panic stress buying and how to avoid it. So yeah I guess let's really quickly just talk about that. Uh, a lot of us do it, a lot of us fall into this a cycle of making ourselves feel better by taking our mind off um, what is really happening. And, and I think that's a good thing. I think we definitely do all need positive distractions right now. But at the same time, the number one reason that I'm gonna give you guys for why panic and stress buying should be the last resort and the last thing any of us are doing right now is because there's just so much uncertainty for so many people. And of course, there's a lot of fear of actual work being lost during these tough times. So for a lot of people, stress shopping and panic shopping is just going to be even more detrimental to everything they're already going through. And honestly, I am definitely in that category. I'm a musician. So right now, all musicians and freelance artists um, and I would imagine freelance really in any profession are facing this challenge of all their work being canceled. Um, you know, in my profession, all concerts are canceled and most face-to-face -face interactions are being canceled. So for example, um, I'm a small music school owner, for those of you that don't know, and a concert pianist. So of course, all the concerts that I was supposed to participate in 
um, over really the next month and a half are definitely already canceled. And I am migrating all of um, our students at my music school to virtual lessons via, you know, FaceTime and Skype, etc. So I'm about to actually start my teaching day and I'm gonna be home just teaching from my own piano. You know, not everyone is going to be able to do that. Not, not everyone is gonna be able to afford music lessons at this time. Not everyone has access to this kind of technology. So, you know, just, just my school alone has already witnessed about a 15 to 20% loss of student body for the next, you know, month at least because some families just that is not where their priorities lie at the moment so we're all definitely feeling this and i think we need to really put that in perspective and we really need to put that as kind of a priority number one we need to take care of all of our essentials and make sure that if we do have that urge to hit the buy now button we really take a step back and we really kind of hold the reins and be real with ourselves and say well yes this is a really tough time and yes i'm having a rough time handling this and yes you know my anxiety is through the roof but is this really gonna make it better or am i gonna hit that button and five minutes later i'm just going to get even more anxiety because i've just made my livelihood even less secure than it was five minutes earlier so just think about that i mean i hate to be the debbie downer and kind of start off with such a serious note but i think i do need to put that out first this should be the number one thing is really watching your finances because even if you are doing well and i guess in that case if, if you know if this is not affecting you financially or you have a nice nest egg then maybe you can go ahead and indulge that's that's already a different thing maybe that wouldn't be such a bad thing maybe supporting some small local businesses especially might actually be a wonderful thing if if you can afford it but for a lot of us i think we really need to put this in perspective i'm gonna leave that there because i, I think that's enough said now on the opposite side of things i i don't think that there's anything wrong though with you know, giving yourself a little time to be lazy and, and relax at home with your phone or your computer and just window shop, just catch up on like what's out there. Maybe you don't have time usually to browse and maybe this is your chance to sort of create an imaginary wish list. So I think window shopping, of course, we're not actually going to be window shopping right now because all of us are supposed to stay home and I'm definitely do encourage you to do that but we have the internet we have all these resources at our fingertips and while stores might not be resources there definitely can be a fun distraction so i certainly don't think that as, as long as it doesn't trigger you i certainly don't think that checking out new releases making imaginary wish lists then playing with what you already have and trying to find dupes or trying to recreate looks i think these are all things that some of us now might have a little more time for. So I think you should definitely take advantage of that. And speaking of that, I definitely hope to myself and I encourage you to play with your possessions more. Set up some time and play with your makeup. Set up some time and play with all of the clothes you have in your wardrobe and create and discover new outfits. Maybe browse some runway inspiration or you know during your window shopping screenshot some cool looks and see if you can come up with something similar and then please share them with me i am not very active on instagram but that is something i hope to do over the next few weeks is uh, maybe start becoming a little more active on instagram because i hopefully will have a little more time to learn how to use it a bit more up to now this transition has actually been busier than my daily life because as i said i've had to learn how to migrate my music school's student body to virtual lessons and i've i've had to figure out how to make all that work schedule wise and um you know help people figure out placement of their phones and cameras and how how we're going to see each other how we're going to hear each other so it's, it's been a learning curve in that sense, 
so I haven't really had time, but I'm hoping over the next few days as I get into the routine of this new normal for the time being, I will be doing some of these things I'm talking to you guys about. So definitely discovering more of my makeup and discovering more of my wardrobe, whatever your hobbies might be, I think this is, this is a great time for that. The next thing I'm hoping to do as I play with my items more, I'm hoping actually to discover things I do and don't like even more than I have been so far this year on my no buy. And I'm hoping to actually declutter and decide on possibly what I'm going to sell in the future. And I don't know right now how that's going to work because of course that would require me to go to the post office and mail items even if they sell. So I don't know if necessarily selling immediately is something that's going to happen, but I would like to start organizing my house a bit more, cleaning things that I normally don't have time to do, you know, maybe some small detailed jobs or some, you know, major spring cleaning or whatever is something that we can all do right now. That's, I think it'll make us feel better. I think it'll make us feel like we're starting anew. And once we all get through this crisis that our uh, world, our entire globe is facing at the moment. And, and I have no doubt that together we will definitely get through it. I think we will come out with you know a more fresh sense of life in general i think we will hopefully come out a lot more grateful and we will have a clearer idea of kind of you know what our mission is and it would be nice to do that with kind of a sense of cleansing since none of us are going to be able to go out to eat or drink for that matter. And if that is something that is an important part of your life, I know that is something I very much enjoy, then this is going to be a great time to explore new recipes, to cook at home, obviously, to maybe in my case, you know, explore a little bit of mixology, um, try some fun things. Obviously we don't know what the immediate future holds every day. Uh, brings on new restrictions and new things that of course we're dealing with right now but as long as you do have some basic ingredients and as long as you've stocked up wisely without overdoing it um, there's definitely a lot of things that you can try in your kitchen that maybe you haven't tried before so that is something I'm really excited to do and I encourage all of you to um, explore your culinary side to feed our soul a bit again we all have different interests so i am speaking from myself and hopefully this can help some of you but maybe there are other things that you can suggest that are not part of my um, daily life and my interests but would help others greatly uh, for me of course as a musician to feed my soul i would love to use this time to explore all sorts of creative resources that we have and i will actually link some things down in the description box because i can't right now name everything but i just wanted to talk about a few things that i am personally really excited about a lot of organizations during this crisis are opening up their archives for a temporary period of time are uh, live streaming certain things so for example uh, being a concert pianist myself and living in New York City, we have usually, of course, wonderful resources available in person to us. You know, we have Carnegie Hall, we have Lincoln Center, which houses the New York Philharmonic, which houses the Metropolitan Opera, New York City Ballet, Chamber Music Society, the Juilliard School, which is my alma mater. They, of course, have tons of student concerts usually. So while a lot of these things we will not get a chance to see and it is very heartbreaking that you know the juilliard school has shut down for the rest of the semester as every other university they're doing only virtual classes for the rest of the school year they have asked all of the students to move out of the dorms and of course that means the entire graduating class for both the bachelors and all the graduate programs will probably not get a chance to do a live graduating recital will not get a chance to walk across the stage and receive their diploma. The drama department will not get a chance to probably put on whatever plays that they have been working towards for the past four years. I've been out of school now for over a decade, almost two decades. No, wait, 
yeah, almost two decades, <laughs> like a decade and a half, basically. Yeah, but I remember, you know, these months, March, April, May, we, we had all the entrance exams, the live callbacks for the hopefuls to get in and go to school next year. We had all of our graduating concerts and plays and performances and dance, you know, the dancers put on, every, every department would put on shows. I mean, there was just so much going on um, because by now Juilliard has dance, the drama, and the music is broken up, of course, into an amazing vocal program, a jazz program. Uh, you know, there's Juilliard Orchestra. Uh, there's just so much going on at the school and like every university, not, none of it is going to happen. Um, but on the flip side of that, so many organizations, as I mentioned, are opening up their archives, their catalogs. I'm just going to mention a few, and as I said, I'll, I'll link some resources down below. I'll try to maybe even do more research later tonight while I'm editing this video and uh, see what else I can find. But the Metropolitan Opera is going to be streaming an opera from their archives of the past 14 years that they have recorded for their live in HD every single day starting tonight. I'm filming this on Monday, March 16th. So for the next few weeks, every single day for 20 hours, you have access to an amazing production that the Metropolitan Opera has put on sometime in the past 14 years. These are operas are sometimes streamed live in HD across movie theaters, um, I think worldwide by now. But now you get a chance to watch it in the privacy of your couch. And what an amazing, amazing opportunity that is. The Berlin Philharmonic is doing a similar thing, I think through March 31st for the next two weeks. I believe that they have some sort of like a code that you have to type in, but you get access to their archives. I don't know how far back they have their archives going, but I'm sure you get a wide variety of fantastic orchestra performances. I know that there's been some artists that have been playing live concerts for an empty hall. I watched a concert on Saturday by Garrett Carlson who did a performance at the 92nd Street Y here in New York City. And he just came out and did it in exactly the same style that any concert would be held. He took a bow just without applause and they translated it live. I know that there have been other musicians that have been doing similar things and you know, if they were scheduled to do a concert, they would do like excerpts from the concert from the privacy of their own living rooms and have been live streaming it. So whatever your interests are, they might be not classical, they might be jazz, they might be sports, they might be um, art. I, I think right now, a lot of organizations are understanding that people are gonna be holed up in their homes and for a lot of us, that's gonna be very stressful and very daunting and just mentally draining. So they want us to have really powerful and meaningful distractions. What a time to just feed your soul, feed your mind, learn something new. There are so many websites out there where you can take courses right now. I'm sure they're doing similar things and waiving some fees. And if you have the financial means, please donate to these organizations. I, I certainly don't want to take the importance of that away. But I also want to stress that if you're in a financial bind right now, we can all, you know, sympathize and empathize with each other because a lot of us are going through a hard time, but sitting around and crying ourselves to sleep and binge shopping and making it even worse is not going to solve anything. So what a great time to check out websites like Coursera and take a course. Uh, I think the MoMA Museum here in New York has some courses that they've put up on there. Um, I, I haven't, you know, I ha I've just touched the tip of the iceberg in my own research so far as well. And I look forward to finding out more and starting to take advantage of these things once I get into the groove of um, restructuring my whole business myself. But just, just consider these things. And please, as I said, please share things from your hometowns. Please share things from your countries. I know I have a small following here, but even if just one or two of you enlighten me into some other exciting events going on online, I would be ever so grateful. That's just some ideas. Let's see, what else do I have on my list? 
obviously we can all watch movies and uh, catch up on some TV shows and catch up on some books we've been needing to read and otherwise haven't had time to or haven't just been giving ourselves permission to just sit back and relax. This is, I think, a time to indulge in that way. You know, instead of indulging in a new eyeshadow palette or a lipstick, indulge in giving yourself some other kinds of love and self-care. Uh, do a spa night if you have a ton of products like I do. I certainly hope to mask more and do some things for my well-being. I'm trying to see what else do I have on my list? Sorry, my brain is like spinning out of control because I want to also wrap this up, but I want to make sense at the same time because I have to teach in a few minutes. Um, oh, working out. For those of you that can't go out to a gym right now, uh, YouTube is such an amazing resource. See if you can find some at-home workouts. I've been meaning to start yoga for, oh, for so long. I'm hoping this will finally inspire me to do that, I'm hoping this will finally inspire me to try yoga for the first time and look up some beginner yoga videos here on YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, if you have always wanted to start a YouTube channel, why not do it now when you are at home and you are driving yourself crazy with everything that's happening? Take your mind off things, order a $20 tripod on Amazon for your phone, use natural window light, which is what I'm doing right now, put a camera in front of yourself, create an idea for what you want to do, and put it out there for the rest of us to see and enjoy. You'll take your own mind off of things and you'll give the rest of us such a great, great escape. Watching YouTube videos is a wonderful way to continue supporting the people that you know might be earning an income from this or maybe not but continue supporting people that you enjoy watching while at the same time taking your mind off of things and putting your mind at ease and also learning a ton of new things this is such a great platform for that I know that I had so many other things that I've been thinking you know while in bed last night and waking up this morning and I just didn't have my notebook next to me to jot them down I'm sure that there's gonna to be tons of other things I'm gonna think of as soon as I finish filming this video but I hope this gives you guys at least some sense of you know all the potential out there that we have right now this is kind of a forced break that some of us are on. I know for a lot of people this is going to be a very difficult time because they're going to be working overtime and my thoughts are with our entire medical staff throughout the world. Everybody who's in the medical field, kudos to you guys right now. Everyone who is somehow on the taking care end of things, all the people kind of holding down the fort. But for those of us that have to stay home, there, there are other things that we definitely could be doing right now. The people that right now we have to protect, of course, as most of you know, are the elderly and those with pre-existing conditions. So we're all staying home, not really only for our own benefit. Hopefully, knock on wood, most of the younger population, the, the kids and even young adults, we should be fine through this. But those of us that have parents and grandparents and a lot of us do or know people that have other health underlying health conditions those are the people we have to really think of right now if you must go out volunteer your time to do some food shopping for an elderly person you know use your judgment of course but definitely see if there's some ways you can help people that just have to self-isolate right now have to stay home no matter what an idea a, f a friend of mine had that I thought was wonderful is if you are right now staying at home and you have kids staying at home because there are no schools and you're looking for all sorts of activities for them to do, one of the things you might want to consider is reaching out to all your local senior centers and nursing homes, places where right now the elderly cannot have any visitors whatsoever, they're really truly uh, homebound and isolated. See if there is some way to set up some video chat programs and have your kids, if they play an instrument or if they act or if they sing, do something for people in those facilities or maybe have them create uh, cards 
or do some artwork. See if you can safely deliver some of that to the seniors. Maybe call and get some names, make it even more personalized. A lot of people I think are going to come together and bond and do things for each other right now. So why not partake in that? Please share other ways. All of us can chip in, chime in that don't necessarily have to break the bank, that don't necessarily have to take any dollars that a lot of us right now won't even have coming in out of our bank accounts. I, I urge you to stay calm, stay positive, try to find the silver lining as hard as it might be. And I think we just have to be understanding and supportive of each other. We are so lucky in some ways, and I am not a technologically savvy person. I, I am still an old soul. I am one for personal interaction. I am one for, um, you know, reading the classics, playing the classics. I sometimes struggle very much with modern society and the things that the kids are exposed to right now and the things even we as adults are exposed to right now. But even myself, this is one of those times where, you know, I'm thanking my lucky stars that we have the technology that we do. Because if you can't go to a friend's house right now and have dinner with them, you can FaceTime them. You can do FaceTime movie nights. You can cook individually, even same recipes, and get together over a dinner table via FaceTime and hang out. You can FaceTime family members across the globe and make sure that they're okay uh, and keep them company while they're in the same predicament. These are things that so many other generations didn't have. Try to focus on that. You guys probably have so many other amazing ideas already. Just wanted to open up the conversation. While, while it is essential to be informed, I think we really need to try not to focus on the negative because it's, it's just gonna wear us down and it's just gonna make us more susceptible to other problems in our lives, be it due to this global issue or something else that we might be facing. So yeah, I think that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you all so much for taking some time to join me. If you are so inclined, please subscribe. Please watch some of my other videos. Hopefully they will act as a little bit of an entertaining distraction to you. And I hope to film some more this week. I know I haven't had time over the past couple of weeks with everything going on but I hope to resume uploading regularly and maybe even more often. I look forward to chatting with you down below and I wish you all a very safe rest of your day. Please take care of yourself. Please take care of those around you, but at a distance. <laughs> and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.